Hey guys, my name is Dan and welcome to Nightlife Bartenders. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to open up a bottle of wine. Let's begin. So let's say a customer ordered a bottle of wine for their table. This is how you would serve it. You would grab the bottle of wine from the bar and then you would come up to the table, greet them. Hey guys, how's it going? How are y'all doing? And then they answer him, you know. So after you greet them, you show them the bottle of wine. Okay, you present it to all the guests. Make sure that this is the bottle that they ordered. You especially present it to the person who purchased the bottle so that they know for sure before you crack open this expensive bottle of wine that this is the specific bottle they wanted. Okay, so they confirm it. All right, once they confirm it, then you proceed to open the bottle of wine. And you can do that by first opening up your wine key. Okay, so the wine key. It comes with a blade, okay? Take that blade out. And then what you wanna do is cut the foil, okay? You can see this little lip right here, okay? You wanna take the foil, you, I'm sorry, you wanna take the wine key and put the knife right to the foil and start turning it all the way around, okay? <clears throat> so when you're at the table though, you, this is how I do it. I prop my knee up, I don't know if you can see it, but I prop my knee up a little bit, I put it right there. Okay, just so I can have a little thing to rest the wine on. And then like I showed you, you take the blade, put it right on that lip, and you start turning it. Okay, turn it all the way around, full, full rotation. And then you lift up, foil has come up, okay? Very simple. All right, and then after that, you proceed to step two. Put the wine, I'm sorry, put the blade away, and then take out the corkscrew, okay? This is the corkscrew. All right, and what you want to do is take this little pointy part of the corkscrew and stab it right in the center here, okay? So take that part, put it right in the center, okay? And then start turning it, just like so, all right? For demonstration purposes, I'm showing you right here, but normally in front of the guest, if I'm presenting at a table, I'd be doing this with my knee propped, okay? But just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna do it right on the bar. So another tip, a common mistake that people do when they're uh, taking the cork out is that they don't screw the cork in all the way. You wanna make sure you screw that cork in all the way because if you do not, what will happen is when you proceed to take it out, you're going to rip half of the cork off and then the half of the other half is gonna stay here so you're gonna be stuck with a, a, a cork within a bottle, you can't take it out. So make sure that you screw the cork screw all the way into the cork before you start taking it out. That way it won't rip, okay? Some of these corks, some of these wines are very old. So the cork screw is very flimsy, okay? Very quick to like snap in half. So just make sure that you screw it in all the way. And usually when I'm done, if I'm at a restaurant presenting wine, usually I take this, I'm sorry. I take this cork off before I pour the wine and I just set it right on the table. Okay, I just set it right on the table and usually like the man of the table usually picks it up, quick to pick it up, starts smelling it and stuff, I don't know. So I just usually just put it right there on the table and then I take the wine glasses, all right? And then I start pouring, all right? And this is how you pour the wine. Some of these wines, they have like this concave thing you can stick your thumb into. So you stick your thumb into it like that, and then you just pour like such, all right? Right around there is good, okay? A lot of people get nervous when it comes to pouring wine, uh, but don't, it's, it's really not that hard. You put your thumb in there, you start pouring like that, or if you wanna be even fancier, take your two fingers, go like this, okay? Just look like you know what you're doing. Um, the most important thing is to pour. If, if these two ways of pouring doesn't suit you, then just pour it like this, okay? There's no rules to this. Just get the wine in there, present it nicely, and that's it. By the way, I started posting cocktail recipes on my Instagram page. So if you are looking for popular cocktail recipes, they are now available for you on my Instagram. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Check out the videos on screen if you haven't seen them yet, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.